1,048 lakes, the panfish capital of Minnesota, Ottertail County. Over the next four days, our crew will be exploring and experiencing the rich waters of the most infamous county in the state of Minnesota. The goal is simple, chase down the biggest crappies possible in the early ice window. Our hearts still belong in the metro, and we will be back, but we needed to take a vacation. So come join the party, First Ice is here. We are in Ottertail County. Ottertail County is unique. 1,048 is all you gotta say. That's how many lakes are in this county alone. We believe that this is one of the other areas in the state that produces the size crappies that we're looking for. And so we wanted to do a quick little, you know, pretty much in a weekend, try to show you that there also is another area of the state that has really big crappies and the amount of people that are here and the people that travel here there's no way that they can really cover all those lakes so you're gonna have plenty of bodies of water that are unpressured so the fish in this area are just like a different caliber i guess the, the i think the genetics here regionally are really really good you've always heard about outer tail county fish being really nice pan fish in general but like huge bluegills huge crappies a lot of these lakes are super fertile and you know have just an unbelievable amount of forage for these fish to grow into crazy crazy size you'll notice that a lot of the fish are heavy like for how long they are so you know down in the metro a 15 15 and a half inch crappie would probably weigh right around two pounds you know give or take a little bit depending on the lake but up here it seems like a 14 and a half to 15 inch crappie weighs anywhere from two to two and a quarter so you know we we really wanted to show off another really special area of the state but yeah i mean that's that's what i feel like why we why we came here it's just because 1048 lakes you can keep jumping. If one's not good, go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one, and eventually you're gonna run into something that's pretty epic. Talk to me. What up? We, uh... <laughs> I thought you were gonna walk and talk. <laughs> talk to me, sure. <laughs> so this is the second lake of the day without fishing. Uh, the first one did not have good ice as we found out. Almost three. Almost three? Yeah. But it doesn't look good. No, we don't have to three inches. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, watch through the cattails that you're talking about. Yeah, I'll <laughs> see how that works. Yeah, I'm working at it now. I'm good. He was saying that even though this ice was thin, he thought he could walk through the cattails to get out there, which you absolutely can't do. With this open water right there in the cattails. <laughs> Good start. But I'm glad we brought an adult. <laughs> uh, this one looks to have really good ice. We're going to go grab the spud, double check everything before we walk on, but I think uh, we're good to go. This is just another farm slew style lake, so... This one, we're fishing a new spot on it. I've never fished, so I guess we'll find out. We are herding cattle. 
they're under the gray ice again. So we gotta drill holes. Like we can't just randomly drill holes everywhere. We have to formulate a plan to drill them because we're gonna end up herding them because they're gonna get scared. So herding cattle. The boys are absolutely gritting the crap out of this gray ice right here. It's just like a seam. Like you can see it's maybe, I don't know, 40 yards wide behind me. And they've just drilled like probably 75 holes. Lots of marks in them. So now the plan is just hop around, try to get on smaller packs of them, and just start whacking them. So whew, time to get fishing, get the GoPro strapped up, and it's game time. We're in it now. We're in the game. Hold on, he's still down. they're still down there. Stop moving. Yeah, they were still here. Now, when Brett walked over there, he moved them again. That's how finicky they are, dude. If we get them, just you got to just stand there. You get on these lakes like this, these things are super hyper spooky. Well, now we know what to do, though. We'll just drive them. We'll just push them right to each other. Yeah, they were uh, highly aggressive. Look at that thing. Oh. Yeah, look at these things. I mean, these Otter Town, Otter Tail County fish are just absolutely tanks. This is only a 12 and a half incher, built like a 13, 14, I mean, more like a 14. But yeah, 12 and a half inch, just tank. I mean, barely touching 12 and a half. But yeah, we were on a different lake this morning, going to do a meat run, and the ice was a little sketchy. So we ended up deciding that we should just go to a trophy lake and. Uh, this is probably going to be like the small ones we catch, but uh, yeah, we're just going to keep moving. We've been drilling it out and I think we're spooking a lot of the fish because it seems like you see them and then they're, as you walk up to the hole, you put your vex in there and you just watch them leave your screen. So I think they're really spooking from us, but let's get this girl back before she freezes up. Ah, that was fun. Now we got to just kind of, I think we kind of got to chill out and just let them come through like last night, you know? But yeah, the wind's picking up, so hopefully it'll hide some of our noise because uh, I don't know, I feel like we're making a lot, you know what I mean? Well, we just got another good one this one is a really thick one let's see what she ends up going out on the tape that would be 12 and three quarter jeez for a 12 and three quarter that looks absolutely huge these fish are just a different caliber you know if we get a, a 13 to a 14 it's gonna be a giant so we're gonna keep grinding it here uh, we're kind of like in a big flat, there's sporadic weed clumps and these fish are just moving through, but we've noticed on the Vexlar units, as soon as we see some fish and if someone is walking or doing anything, they they just leave immediately. So we're really having to like be super quiet, to be honest with you, and kind of still. So I'm gonna let this guy go. Nice. So we're, we're kind of just bouncing around right now, but you know, one thing that's super important when you're on fish that are this finicky is having a Vexlar unit that has a low power mode, it cuts your signal strength in half. And so that really, you know, draws down the power output you're sending into the water column. And you know, when fish are this finicky, any noise, anything at all, they can not only feel, but they can hear it as well. So um, the most important thing when you're on a finicky bite like this, I mean, it's not that they're finicky, it's just that they're very wary. And so, cause that one came up and just cracked it. Um, but when they're on a like very skittish, like they are right now, having a unit that, you know, is quiet makes a huge difference.
Here we go. Oh, God. Just got this stud. It's actually got a scar on this side from some previous injury. Uh, they're just still cruising this big flat and we're, they're moving so much. So we're kind of just hunkering down in an area and you know, we're just waiting for them to move through, trying to be super, super quiet. Uh, I got that one on my rod, the 36 inch power noodle. Had tons of backbone, was able to stick them pretty good. I'm gonna give this guy a drink quick. And now, put him on the bump. Oh my gosh, she is touching 13. So we're getting up there in size. <laughs> but that is another stud. Just look how thick they are and very tall. Once we get a, you know, a giant, I think it's gonna be at least well over two pounds. I don't know, what would you say? Yeah, I mean, oh, it's, yeah. The genetics in this lake are just nuts. Yep. They're there. They got like three of them on. On. Pink's got a monster on. Okay, well here, I'm gonna release this guy. Dude, this is a good one. It's a real one. Need ya, need ya, need ya. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Woo -hoo -hoo. Freaking right, dude. That is a slab. All right, just corked an absolute stud. This thing is freaking beefy to the max. Absolutely had me torqued on that rod, but it actually came racing up. It's so hard to get on, and when you finally do, they just smoke it. And uh, awesome fight. So I'm just gonna measure. I have no idea. This thing is big. It's like 13 and a half, pretty much. Freaking beefcake right there. <laughs> I'm pretty stoked with that. It is a giant crappie. Uh, we're gonna get some pictures real quick, but one thing I wanted to talk about real quick, these bump boards we're using, these catch boards, we're gonna be giving one of these away. To get it, all you have to do is comment on this video, and with this board, you're also gonna get an absolute pile of drop XL jigs from Clam, and uh, all you gotta do, like I said, drop it in the comments. All right, gonna get this one back. The wind is absolutely cranking right now, but we're getting them, and these are absolute bombs. Freaking right, dude. That was so sick. All right, let's get some more. You running your GoPro? Yep. If you hook one, I'm dropping right back down. It's one of your rods. Okay. They all just left. Here we go. He's on you. Oh, you got smoke. Dude, I'm talking cracked. Got him. Good one. It's a nice one, dude. Nice grab. fish. Okay, grab the drop down. Another good one right there. Another. Yep, there's one still there. There's one. Got him. Here we go. We got two giants. Oh my god, that's a good one, dude. Eh? Oh, oh yeah. look at the height of that thing. <laughs> Give me some. Look at that. Double bombs. <laughs> Dude, that is a giant. Oh my God. I mean, Carlo was right next to me. I caught one, I was marking multiple fish. Ryan quickly came over and freaking stuck a donkey. Dude, I freaking so, popped that hole. Mine's there was been out. two I'm marks gonna... down. He caught the one I dropped down immediately and just caught this one. Another 13, well, 13 and three quarter, I guess. Almost 14. But look at, that, fish. look at that fish, dude. It's absolutely beef. Just awesome. beef. The back on it is unreal. These are giants. 
That was pretty sweet. The fight is unreal on them, <laughs> too. They're just sweet. so powerful. It's just head shake, let's just head get shake, that. Head Well, you want to get it? Let's get some pictures. All right, we're going to get this one released. The wind's blowing. These fish are drying out really fast. We don't want them to get too messed up, so I'm going to get that one back right away. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, so this is like we're doing a lot of moving. We're drilling a lot of holes. When you finally drill a hole and there's some marks in it, it's like we're trying to get to it as fast as possible because these fish are on the move. And like that one, we dropped down, caught one, and they stayed, which hasn't been the case. And it's been a lot of time between bites. So we're dr like, we drilled a ton of holes. We're still drilling holes and we're trying to stay on top of these fish, but we're trying to capitalize on every opportunity we have because we cannot stay with them. They are moving yeah. way faster than we are. And uh, it, I mean, we don't even know which way they're really going when they go out of the hole. So you're just constantly running through the grid of holes we got. It's this like is, a double-edged sword. Dude, this sword. is a freaking cat and mouse game like no other. I can't yeah. believe how much they're moving. It's a double-edged sword because you want to have cleats on so you can move faster, but you don't want to be you, loud. You don't want to be loud and spooky. And the, the ice fish. is so thin. We only have maybe like four and a half to five inches ice where we're at. Yeah. Dude, this is unreal. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. So we're going to keep playing this game throughout the day, and hopefully we can lock them down. But if this school ever stops moving, I think this is going to be absolutely insane. I got him in this one. You do? Yep. Or at least one, there's one down there. Oh, he just whacked it. Here he comes. Just whacked it again, dude. Huh? Yeah. Well, I dropped that spoon down. I think that's why. They wanted that other jig. Get ready, Grip, because there's a pile. They just kept coming in and out. Here we go, here we go. Boy, like that. Come on. Ooh. Just start dropping. This one's not as big. I mean, it's freaking nice, but. Okay, it's big. Okay, go, 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 go. Try to double up. Oh my God, that's a slab though. All right, just jacked another one. We're running around like crazy because these fish are just moving through our holes so quickly right now. But again, same, literally the exact same program we've been doing, just trying to stay on these fish. And that's a really nice one. Probably about an 11, 11 and a half incher, I'd say, but just super deep, healthy fish. And I'm just gonna let it go right away and just get back in the game here because the more guys we have with graphs down, the better we are. Sweet. All right, I'm getting back in there right now. There, they're still down there. No, they, they moved now. Right. Yeah, he wasn't on the screen when I got it down there. That's a nice one. Not a giant, though. It's like the smallest one of the day. <laughs> it's still a pretty good one. Yeah, it's been a track meet today. I mean, we're literally just drilling holes, trying to get just hole hopping as fast as we can with the Vexars. We'll mark one. Then we all converge on that hole and try to catch as many as we can. But yeah, we're just gonna keep hole hopping. This is probably the smallest one of the day, which is ridiculous. But yeah, we're gonna just keep just hitting this flat, 12 feet, 12 feet of water pretty much all day. That seems to be the pattern actually. What we found is that 12 feet of water is where the fish on every lake we've fished so far have wanted to be. But yeah, gold drop kick and a Motorola Mackie Mackie. It's all you need. Let's get after it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Get ready, boys. Get ready. Get a rod ready. Hey. Somebody get a rod ready. I got a rod. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Yep. Oh god. On. Thunk. Thunk. Oh. Oh. 
dude, it was, oh my God. <laughs> that thing is so wide. <laughs> it's probably not as big as I think, but it looks freaking really big. It's a good Oh, one. it's pretty big, dude. It's pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Get him. Oh, that's a heavy one, dude. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> Get down there, Griff. Look at that crappie. Oh my God, that's a giant. Absolute donkey, dude. Yeah, he's about to get another. Oh, we're about to double up right here. Get another rod, get another rod. I got another one ready. Come on, Griff. Oh, he's gonna do it. Come on. Oh, on. Oh, it's another tank. Come on, Griff, let's do this thing. It's right there. Oh, nah, that ain't no baby. Oh, look at that thing. Yes, get him, get him. Yeah, baby. Get the juicer in. Get down there, Waldo. Just drop, just drop, they might be right there. I just took a drop. Dude, that's a giant. <laughs> Dude, give me some. Oh my god. Bomb suit. Look at how thick that thing is, dude. Oh my god. Giants. Absolute freaking giants. No, we absolutely just cracked these two. A whole school came through on the Vex. I dropped down, worked this one for like two seconds. It just came flying up off bottom. Absolutely corked that jig. I was fighting it up. Waldo helped me land it. Griff immediately dropped down, smacked another one back to back. I don't even know how big, this is unreal. 114. 14 yeah. and a half. Yep. 14 and yeah, a half and absolutely maxed out one tall. Pound, I, <laughs> that's probably the sickest ounces. build I've ever seen. 114? Yeah, for 14 Let's see what this one is. Zero. Yeah, you just gotta hit. Two, two. Two, two. Absolute bomb. That is a unit of a black crappie. Let's get him back right away. Alright, let's go first. There we go. Look at these beautiful things. Bye. Oh, Felicia, you don't even barely fit, dude. See ya. Oh my <laughs> god, dude. That was so sick! Yes! Those are bombs. Awesome. Again, we're giving away one of these catch bump boards. Which are you badass. Want to, yeah. This is like best bump board in the game. And if you want one of these, drop a comment in this video. We're gonna pick a winner. You're gonna get this bunch of drop XL jigs. Has today gotten a little mental? Today's getting a little mental. Things are getting rugged. We're out here. And guess what? It's not even dark yet. And we actually thought about leaving, which is yeah, a great thing we did. Little update. So it's getting later in the afternoon. I'd say we're getting almost to four o'clock. So it's only gonna be light for another like hour, hour and a half maybe. And uh, honestly, we just locked down on this. We thought we were gonna go to a different lake to start didn't work out so we didn't actually get after we were hoping to just do a meat run this morning and get a bunch of fish to cook luckily yesterday we kept a bunch that uh, we didn't end up cooking so we do have some extra so tonight's still gonna be baller um, and then tomorrow we might lead it off with a meat run but this is this has been a really special bite like we're not catching huge numbers of fish okay but like these fish are unbelievable quality so we're gonna probably hang out here for a little bit longer, hopefully get one or two more. I mean, who even know? Even if we get one more, these are, every single fish is an absolute giant. It's mind blowing. And then uh, get out of here and go back to the resort and just hang out, I think, and just take in what the heck just happened today because like, dude, this is mental. Like, I don't even know how to describe what's going on here, but I want more of it. Bart's been kind of sitting back here filming everything. There's been a lot of action happening. So uh, poor Bart he hasn't caught a crappie yet, but. He might. He might. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. On. I saw him already. He is a good one. It's not as big as that other one. It's a freaking nice one, though. Oh, pie plate, dude. Freaking boy. Yikes. That is a freak. Oh my gosh. Oh dude, they're freaking there. Check that out. All right, I'm just gonna set this one on the ice. There's a whole freaking pot of them down there. Oh my God, dude, it's a beast. 
How are they not going? They're like right there, right? Yeah. Look at that freaking tank. Just a bomb. Every single time. All right, I'm gonna put it on the scale real quick. See what we got. 114. Pert near two pounder. <laughs> this is unreal, dude. How are they not going? I don't know. I don't have any in the hole right now. Oh, you don't have any? All right, I'm gonna get this thing released real quick. I'm just gonna drop it down a different hole just in case there's some down there. We don't wanna blow out the school. So I'm just gonna sneak back by another hole and get her, get her released. Jeez, that's a beast. Just walked over to a fresh hole, kind of away from where all the action is, just to let this one go. Sometimes when you let them go, that'll blow out the school. So I'm gonna let this one go. That's probably another close to 13 incher. Almost two pounds though, unreal. There it goes. Oh my God, this day is freaking crazy. We're not catching tons of numbers, but every single one is an absolute unit. I think the boys are marking right now, so I'm gonna get back to them right here. From yesterday. Yeah, we can just use that. For we can just say I thought out, but then we're gonna have to kill some tomorrow. Yeah, we can do that right away in the morning. Okay. Grip, 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 on you, on you, on Bad, bad you mark. Yes. <laughs> That was a giant one. Look at him under you. Oh my god, dude. That's... God, dude, look at that. <laughs> dude, that's unreal. Goodness, dude. Jesus, look at that thing. Dude, that's a stud. Is it bigger than yours? I don't know. I don't know. They all look huge, dude. I just, the mark just came out of nowhere, just drifted well, it up. It eats your whole Vexler. <laughs> Look at that. Good. Literally, we're just sitting here chatting. Kind of, what were you we talking about? What we were going to do? Yeah. And I uh, had my rod just sitting there, and Pink says, Griff, there's a big red mark under your jig, and I, all I did was lift it up, and the thing just absolutely come unglued on it. But yeah, I mean, look at the build on this fish. I mean, that is absolutely insane. I mean, Jesus, let's get a weight on it. 115. I mean, it's that fish is probably 14 inches because it's, I mean, it's, Dude, it's, it's so beat. tall. It's just I mean, that thing is so tall. Well, we're going to let her go. Um, yeah, this one kind of surprised us. I mean, we kind of hit a little wall there for a minute, but um, I don't know. It's getting closer to dark, so I kind of wonder if these fish aren't going to start to uh, just actually roam through here where we can catch them. We don't have to chase after them as much, but we're gonna get this big girl back and uh, try to get us some more. That was awesome. Thanks, Pink, for the heads up. Got you. I saw I got you. No, that was awesome. He just says, hey, there's one down there. Literally, I didn't have to do anything. I just lifted the rod and it just came unglued on it, just choked it. But uh, what an absolute fun bite. I mean, these Otter Tail County lakes, the fish up here are just absolutely built. Like, I don't know what they're eating or what genetics they have, but man just thick. All right, we are back at Shady Grove, staying in the condo. Once again, this place is unbelievable. So huge shout out to uh, Otter Tail County. This place is awesome. We've loved it so far. And it's definitely one of the best places kind of in the state to go fish and uh, stay. This place is lit. So uh, we're going to get after some cooking here in a sec. Waldo, how was today fishing? Exhausting. How are you? You're tired? Yeah. It was, uh, it was a lot of work. It was a lot of running and gunning. and Yeah, it was fun though. We, I mean, we caught some huge fish, so I'll take it. But I need a little recoup. And I think the best way to do that is going to be by pigging out on some of the cow's food. Yes, yes. So, we're about to do that. Also, the gophers beat the badger, so just got you uh, better dead than red. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, so tonight we're doing, we didn't harvest any fish today. Like yesterday we kept a bunch, and then uh, today we didn't keep a single one. We were kind of just trophy hunting today. So we let all of them go, but luckily we saved some from yesterday. So, even though we didn't kill any, we got a bunch still to cook. 
Um, but the recipe we're using today doesn't have a crazy amount of fish needed anyway. So um, we actually got some elk steaks rolling right now. And to go with that, I got some potatoes roasted in the oven and we're gonna do some crappie jalapeno poppers. So we're gonna show you how to make that right now. It's actually really easy, which is great because we're all totally shot right now and just need something fast. So we're gonna get into it right here, show you how to do it. All right, so first step to make these is we just gotta get the jalapenos ready to go. So I have a whole pile we were able to score at the grocery store. And I got as big ones as I could find. Sometimes all you can get is little ones, but I would try to get the biggest ones you can handle. And then um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna split them the long way and then take all of the membrane and seeds out of the inside. So this does take a little bit of time, which you could do this at a time, but um, it'll probably take us 10 minutes to just clean all these jalapenos out. And then I'll show you how to make the filling and then it just goes in the oven. Super easy. You can put them in the grill too if you didn't wanna do it in your house. But um, yeah, 10 minutes and uh, I'll show you how to make the filling. Here we go. And you definitely should rub your eyes after you do this, correct? Yeah, so that's what you're going to want to do. If you had gloves, that would be a pretty good move right now. I don't have them, so we're going bareback. I'm a crappy boy! So I've got all those jalapenos cleaned out. I have them on just like a, a rack, and then I just put on top of a pan because this is going to just go in the oven. So these are just going to hang out for now. Um, and we're gonna get the fish cooked. So the fish is gonna get cooked and then mixed into the filling. It doesn't take very long. I got the oven at 375. I'm just gonna take these fillets. I got just a little baking dish here. Um, they're all chunked up from yesterday since we were making the wings. So it doesn't really matter. They can be full fillets, chunks, whatever, because oh, we're gonna break this up anyway. So should get all the fillets in here. Season them with a little garlic powder, um, black pepper, and some salt. And then I'm just going to put a little oil in there and just mix it all together. Chuck it in the oven for about 15 minutes and then uh, let it cool down and then we'll start the next pot. So the crappies have been cooked. They're just sitting on the stove. They were in there for 15 to 20 minutes I'd say at 375. They're totally cooked through. That's all we want to do. And now I'm just gonna make the rest of the filling and put the crappie in last and just kind of fold it in. Because if we put it in the beginning, we're just gonna beat the crap out of it and there's not gonna be like chunks of fish. It's just gonna be like shredded fish. So I got one brick of cream cheese going in and then probably three or four tablespoons of sour cream. Mix that together, grate some cheese, a little bit of onion, add the fish, and then we'll stuff, it. We'll stuff the poppers. Since it is already in smaller chunks, I don't really have to break it up too much. I just don't want any of the liquid. So when you cook fish like in a pan like this, you're gonna get all this liquid in here. And it's kind of a mix of that oil and the water that was in the fish. So I'm just gonna take these chunks out, place them in the bowl, and then just kind of fold them in just so they don't get too broken up because I want big chunks of fish in there. We don't have to season this too crazy because we did season the fish pretty well. Once we got it all in there, we're just gonna stuff the jalapenos. Get them in the oven with a little grated cheese on top. Let them roll for about 15 minutes until the peppers are starting to get soft and then we're in the game. All right, so now we're gonna stuff these, which is pretty dang easy. You just take a spoon, fill them as full as you like. You don't wanna overfill them though, just because once you put them in the oven, that cheese is gonna melt, so you don't want it to make it huge. Okay, got the pan absolutely loaded and uh, pop them in the oven. They're gonna be about 15 minutes-ish, but all you gotta do is feel, make sure the peppers start getting soft, and uh, get them in there, ready to go. I just pulled these elk steaks out, and I'm just gonna sear them a little bit of butter. Get them in the sous vide for a couple hours over there while we're getting everything else ready. I'm just gonna drop a little butter in here, get them seared up. The crappie should be done about that time, and then we're gonna be eating. Yeah. So they've been in there about 15 minutes. The peppers are just starting to soften a little bit. Cheese is melted. We're just gonna pull them out, let them cool a little bit because they're absolute lava right now. And then get everything plated up and eat dinner. So we're finally wrapped up. Some super medium rare elk steak. We got some 
roasted potatoes and those crappie jalapeno poppers, a little avocado on top of the steak. And uh, we're gonna be eating like kings tonight. So I think the plan right now is we're just gonna crush a ton of food. We got way more than we can probably eat, but Wallow's here, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> but today was super fun. We crushed the fish. Tomorrow, I think the plan is to do another little harvest mission. So I'm looking forward to that, doing a little more cooking at the end of it. And this trip is not over yet. Stick with us.